Luke Hatfield. I am joined by our Wolves correspondent here at the Express and Star, Mr. Tim Spears. Tim, uh, Wolves, they look great when they're in this 3-4-3 formation. Really amazing. I mean, we've seen them blow away teams. But when they change that, yeah. things don't always go to plan, do they? Yeah, uh, pretty much every time they've veered from that 3-4-3, they've struggled this season. Mm -hmm. So... Um, yeah, so they've gone through this this mini blip, as it were, and I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is time to to freshen things up a bit in terms of in terms of the way that they play. I mean, yeah. the the I think the three the basics of the three four three. Are, I would I would keep that personally, but I think m maybe personally I'd bring in Benikafobe for a start. You know, yeah. on uh, on Saturday, I, th I think um, I think he's earned it. He's done okay in his five substitute appearances. Looks sharp. Mm -hmm. Hasn't put the ball in the net just yet, but I think you know that will come. And but obviously a phobia doesn't quite fit into the style that Wolves have, have, per, have perfected earlier in the season. Mm -hmm. So perhaps it's an opportunity for someone else to come in uh, behind him. Maybe, maybe someone like Morgan Gibbs White, or maybe you push Alfred and Jai forward a little bit more yeah. and kind of have him play closer to a phobia in that ni number nine role. You know, we saw on um, Saturday at Fulham, Wolves' his best chance of the game. Connor Cody who was playing in midfield, mm -hmm. uh, pushes a beautiful through ball through to a phobia, he's through on goal. If he'd have taken his shot earlier, you know he would have scored. Yeah. So that that's the, that's the kind of thing, really. And you know, Sace, Sace can do that, or and Jai can push forward from midfield. Maybe kind of look to play a phobia, or Gibbs White can do that with a kind yeah. of positive presence from midfield, pushing forward from that central midfield area, making things happen. Um, we can, we've seen Cavalero come deep. He could do that. Jota, mm -hmm. you know, there was a, there was a gorgeous one-two uh, between Jota and Cavalero. Uh, for a goal against QPR, you know that kind of a phobia can get involved in that kind of thing. Play for yeah. last man, and uh, hopefully score some goals. That's it. But do Wolves really need a plan B? I mean, they look set for the Premier League. It's it's not a done deal like we were talking about a couple of weeks ago because they have slipped up slightly. But in the Premier League, you can't just bust out this three four three every week. No, 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 they can't. They, they they'll need a proper plan B for next season. I think. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they went they went four at the back against Fulham on Saturday. Yeah, and it's <laughs> they. They've worked on three four three all season since day one last summer mm -hmm. when Nuno came in. That's all they've worked on. That's all. That's the only formation that they really prepared for. So yeah, they will have to, they will have to change that next season. Yeah. But you know, we saw at Man City away in the Carabao Cup, there it was kind of a defensive variation of, of the same formation, and that worked very well. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just a case of it's a it's a completely natural thing. Teams are starting to suss them out a little bit, right? Yeah. Second half of season, everybody's played them once. If that they, if they've been beaten convincingly by Wolves earlier in the season. They're not going to play the same way again, you know. They're yeah. going to they're going to be more defensive. So so Wolves then have to come up with something different to do, you know. But I, you know, I'm sure that that it's a, it's a tight. We're talking about two games here, right? Mm -hmm. It's a tight. The press the point of pressing was a good one, and so we're just looking at a, a late equaliser against Norwich, and yes, a convincing defeat against a very good Fulham team away from home. Yeah, we're talking about two matches here. You know, Wolves have got a young team. They will have they will have these little blips, um, but you've got to back their qualities to shine through. You know, they've got the best team in the league. Mm -hmm. That's it. I mean, Dave Edwards talk, was talking about it just the other day, saying that they're too good for the championship. Yeah. And it's it's a matter of almost easing easing the expectations. They're not going to go out and blow teams away every week, especially when it gets down to this kind of running. Because there are no easy games right at this time of season. Mm -hmm. Teams at the bottom of the table obviously got so much to play for. Teams yeah. teams in mid table, you know, will always raise their game against Wolves, even if they've got nothing to play for. Look at Forrest under Karanka, they've done absolute mm -hmm. diddly squat under Karanka, but they came to Molyneux and played Wolves off the park. Yeah. Because everybody raises their game. You know, we saw it arguably with Fulham as well on Saturday. We definitely saw it with Norwich, who've been so inconsistent this season, mm -hmm. raise their game against Wolves. So no game is easy. Wolves have just got to hold their nerve, believe in their quality, believe in what their manager's telling them, as they, ha as they have done all season long. Mm -hmm. Get those three points against Redden on Saturday and everything will look normal again I'm sure that's it so no need to panic but Wolves probably do need to work on a plan B in the Premier League next season if they should go up for the latest on Wolves make sure you stay with us at expressingstar.com